Hello and welcome to the virtual college exploration for all of North and South Carolina students sponsored by the Carolinas Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officer and StriveScan. My name is Allison Brown with Furman University, but you're going to hear more information from one of our presenters as they are representing Francis Marion University. Thank you again for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to your presenter at any time during the session. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is one of the many different sessions happen, happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at www.cacrao.org. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at that same website of www.cacrao.org. I'd now like to turn it over to our presenters. Cool, all right, thank you so much. Let me get my screen shared here so we can get started with this stuff. All right. Okay, so good evening and welcome everyone. I'm so excited to have all y'all here to participate in the Francis Marion University CACRA webinar information session. Uh, I'm hoping that this webinar will answer any questions or concerns you may have and also kind of give you a better understanding about FMU. Uh, to start things off, I want to introduce myself. My name is Parker Stevenson. I'm an admission counselor here, so I oversee the Low Country area in South Carolina. So those includes in counties such as Berkeley, Charleston, Beaufort, Hampton, and Jasper, and Dorchester. Uh, before we start, I want to explain how this information session is going to run. Uh, for the first 45 minutes, or so, my bad, it's a 45 minute long presentation. For the first 30 minutes, we're going to discuss kind of a general overview about Francis Marion University with a presentation. Uh, that presentation will include information about our campus, the majors that we offer, new academic programs we are implementing, our honors program, new facilities to our campus, study abroad opportunities, residence hall that we offer, student life, athletics, acceptance requirements and cost expectations, scholarship opportunities, and also how to fill out an undergraduate or transfer application. Uh, during the presentation, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. You can do them down in the Q&A. Uh, for the last 15 minutes, I will answer any of the questions that you may have. Uh, if we're unable to answer any of the questions due to time constraints, do not worry at all. CACRA will be emailing us a list of all the students that signed up for this session, as well as all the questions that y'all might have. And we'll be sure to get in contact with you via phone call or email with those answers to those questions. All right, so let's get started. Start things off, let's talk about FMU's campus and some of the history. FMU's campus is a picture skew of 832 acres. It's filled with lakes, tree-lined path, and punctuated with some of the area's most natural beauty. It takes place of an unmatched peace and serenity that allows FMU students to thrive. We also have six facilities located in downtown Florence, which are used for our graduate health science programs. Francis Marion University was founded on July 1st in 1970 through a special piece of legislation signed by Governor Robert E. McNair. The bill creating the then college was a response to an overwhelming need for public ed education institution in the PD region of South Carolina. In 1992, Francis Marion gained its university status 96% of our student body is from South Carolina, so educating the state has always been our mission and it still is today. We currently have a little bit over 4,000 students enrolled at FMU. With the past six years, we've added 15 new academic programs, which are all designed to meet the needs of our community and provide students with meaningful careers. 91% of our students receive some type of financial assistance, and we're always looking for additional resources so we can apply even more aid. We currently have 25,000 plus alumni, and our main goal in the admissions office is continue to see our Patriot family grow. So now we're going to transition over and discuss the different majors that we offer on this campus. First, we have the College of Liberal Arts. The liberal arts are the foundation of a strong college education. The Francis Marion University College of Liberal Arts does just that. It provides students with the curriculum they need to see professionally and personally. With a devoted and distinguished faculty, students pursue proficiency in a wide array of subjects, including biology, chemistry, English, fine arts, 
history, humanities, mass communication, mathematics, modern languages in French and Spanish, political science, physics and engineering, psychology, sociology, and a variety of graduate programs. The Department of Biology is a dynamic and friendly place where faculty, staff, and students work together to understand the concept of life. Our, our diversified undergraduate curricula, which spans on the breadth of modern biology from molecules to ecosystem, ecosystems, and a flexible approach that provides the fundamental knowledge of necessary to be fluent in many areas of biology. It's no wonder that biology is one of the most sought out after programs at FMU. Chemistry is the science dealing with the composition and properties of substances, the reaction by which substances are produced from a converted into other substances. The, students, uh, uh, the study of chemistry is an intermediate scale. It does not concentrate on elementary particles or even just the elements. It concentrates on what we can make or do, not just on observation of existing phenomena, but the chemistry program at FNU is a rigorous one, having won the American Chemical Society approval. As English majors, students depend their critical thinking and their analytical skills while learning more about the world, human experience, and themselves. The English majors concentrates on three different tracks. The liberal arts program provides a traditional course of study in literature and language arts. The professional writing program is designed to give students at FMU English majors the best tools possible to succeed in the competitive world of writing. And the secondary English certi certification program leads to certification in teaching English in grades 9 through 12. In the state of South Carolina, the program ensures students have their foundation they need to build a career that makes a difference in the lives of others. The Department of Fine Arts offers majors programs in art, art education, music industry, and theater arts and visual arts. Students majoring in the fine arts combine general education courses with lecture courses emphasizing studio performances. Theater art majors may specialize in performance areas or design and technical production areas. Visual art majors may specialize in graphic design, painting, or photography. Music industry majors may specialize in performance, business, or technology. And there are major pro uh, these major programs serve as an end in themselves, as well as pre preparation for graduate study, related careers, and teaching of arts. The history program at Francis Marion University offers coursework in United States history, European history, Latin American history, and non-Western history. In collaboration with the history faculty, students can design special courses tailored to their needs and interests. Through the study of history, students gain a better understanding of contemporary events and a knowledge of people in various times and places, critical thinking skills, and the ability to express themselves effectively in oral and written communications. The mass communication majors prepare students for a career in mass media. After completing a series of foundation courses, students may choose one of four specialty tracks, broadcasted journalism, convergent journalism, sports journalism, or public relations. The per, uh, principal purpose of the Department of Mathematics at Francis Marion University is to offer stu all university students a very varied and well-balanced program of undergraduate education in mathematics. In the liberal arts tradition, the courses in the program teach students to think logically, to analyze problems, and to solve them appropriately, and to communicate these ideas clearly. The political science program offers its majors a broad understanding of political phenomena, including political institutions, political processes, political behavior, and contemporary political issues. The course of study of the major just prescribes a set of core courses in discipline traditional subfields of American government, comparative politics, international relations, political philosophy, and political mythology. The physics and engineering department offers a baccalaureate degree in industrial engineering, mechanical engineering, physics, and engineering technology. Study the fundamental natural laws of physical universe and the methods of scientific inquiry in physics courses. Learn to analyze and evaluate methods of production uh, to innovate systems and process to, uh, to improve quality and productivity. Using an understanding of physical mechanics to design a machine and take classes in astronomy to understand the solar system, our galactic neighborhood, and the wonders of the universe. The undergraduate psychology curriculum is designed to prepare the students for tasks needed in the workplace and or entry into graduate programs. Psychology majors take courses in introduction, introductory psychology, as well as courses in career planning, research design and statistics, brain and, uh, brain and behavior, social psychology, and selected courses from experimental, developmental, and individual different core areas. 
Francis Marion Society programs prepare students to learn to think critically, to communicate effectively, and to appreciate individuals and cultural diversity, and to develop their skills in computer applications. The bachelor degree, bachelor degree in sociology provides students with an understanding of sociology as a scientific study of human social life. I apologize, let me go back one. I'm gonna go back one more. All right, so the School of Business at Francis Marion University is an excellent place to learn how to build a career. With small classroom sizes and caring for faculty, you're in a place that is committed to success. Our students not only have a strong foundation in business principles, but we also prepare students for a business career, which involves lifelong learning by encouraging them to think critically, have high ethical standards, and be prepared in a global economy and develop strong communication skills. Francis Marion University School of Business Administration holds accreditation for the prestigious Association to Advanced Collegiate School of Business, the premier accredit accrediting body for business education, or also known as AACSB. Only 5% five, uh, 5 of business schools worldwide hold this accreditation. The School of Business offers majors in accounting, computer science, economics, finance, healthcare informatics, with tracks in information management and information technology, management with tracks in human resources management, supply chain management, and sports management, marketing with tracks in sports marketing, and also uh, management information. With a degree in the education from FMU, you will have the opportunity to influence future leaders. For more than 40 years, uh, the School of Education at Francis Marion University has played a critical role in preparing teachers for schools in South Carolina and beyond. Thousands of teachers, coaches, principals, and administrators began their career on our campus. Those men and women have gone to affect the lives of millions. The School of Education works hard to prepare students for the new challenges in tomorrow's ever-changing world of education we're developing new methods, new programs, and new processes that will allow us to keep pace. Here at FMU, we have South Carolina's largest teacher cadet program. We have the state's only Teach for America program and the Center for Excellence for Teaching Children of Poverty. Also, just a little incentive for any education majors, we offer a scholarship that's only eligible for education majors called Teaching Fellows. Teaching Fellows at Francis Marion University may receive up to $6,000. Uh, and a yearly scholarship during the time they are completing a degree lending to teaching license. Upon graduation, a teacher fellow agrees to teach in South Carolina only one year for every year he or she may receive that fellowship. School of Health Science at FMU is committed to providing uh, interprofessional learning opportunities to a diverse student body. The faculty strives to inspire students to become a lifelong learners and contempt in caring healthcare professional leaders who use evidence based on practice to deliver safe, ethical, and value-based care to diverse patient population. FMU offers a Bachelor of Science in Nursing or BSN degree. This type of BSN program is often called a two-for-two two program because the application must complete 59 semester hours in the lower division coursework and then upon admission into the upper division, pre-licensure students then complete an additional 61 semester hours of nursing coursework, as well as approximately 500 clinical hours experience spread over the four semesters. The healthcare administration majors emphasize the development of knowledge and skills in healthcare, management, leadership, education, research, and practice. The required courses along with the required general education curriculum will prepare graduates to advance in leadership roles with healthcare organizations or with their own specialized allied healthcare discipline. So just a little bit about the new academic programs that we have and about our academic program in general. 90% of our students are employed or enter graduate school within six months or one year after graduation. The average class size here at FMU is approximately 20 students. We have a 15 to one student to professor ratio, and then we have more than 75 majors and courses of study on our campus. Some of the new programs that FMU has added is additional anthropology, archeology, span African and African American studies, healthcare administration, healthcare informatics, industrial engineering, mechanical engineering, sports management, sports marketing, doctor of nurse practitioner, adult uh, acute care nurse practitioner, 
a master's in nurse family practitioner, a master's in psychiatric nurse practitioner, uh, a master's in nurse education. We have our graduate uh, physician assistant studies and our graduate speech language pathology program. So a little bit about our honors program. So FNU honors reward excellent students with enhanced educational opportunities that foster inquiry, stimulate learning and promote community involvement. FMU honors offer a unique curriculum, special social and co-curricular activities, community living, and a study abroad opportunity. We also reflect FMU's commitment to personalized instruction, low faculty to student ratio, and enriching undergraduate experience. Admissions to the FMU honors is made by application and the requirements for the freshmen to get into the honors program, you need at least a 3.0 GPA, an 1160 on the SAT, or a 24 on the ACT. To graduate with university honors, students must complete a total of 21 semester hours of honors courses and have a minimum GPA of 3.5. Uh, three of those courses must be earned in honors 397, which is honors curriculum, or uh, three must be earned in successfully completing an honors 491, honors independent study, or an equivalent course using numbered uh, 497 in their particular discipline or a particular major. Students graduating with university honors will receive a commencement medallion and a degree indicating a singular achievement. For more information regarding our honors program, please feel free to contact Dr. John Tuttle. He's the director of the FMU's honors. His email is jtuttle at fmarion.edu, or you can give him a call at 843-661-1521. Now we'll talk about some new additions that we just recently put onto FMU's campus. So the picture in the bottom left-hand corner labeled number one is our new Honors Learning Center. The Honors Learning Center will be completed in the fall of 2020 and will house FMU's Honor Program, the International Studies Program, and the Robert E. McNair Center for Research and Service. Uh, the picture located in the middle labeled number two is one of our new facilities located in downtown Florence called the Q and Jean Leatherman Medical Education Complex. The 36,000 square foot facility will be located in the former U.S. Post Office and Federal Building in downtown Florence. FNU received this building as a gift several years ago and is now in the process of reinventing it. When complete, the facility will house classrooms, laboratories, and office space for FMU's expanding School of Health Science program. The picture in the bottom right-hand corner labeled number three is the sixth FMU building that has been built or acquired in the past decade in downtown Florence. FMU is set to receive the formal Circa Park Behavioral Health Care Center on Greggs Avenue from the city of Florence. The university will uh, renovate renovate the building and use it for medical education as parts of the rapidly expanding School of Health Science. For any student that's interested in studying abroad, Francis Marion University is committed to educational travel for their students. That's why the university is engaged in international exchange programs with 11 sister institutions in six countries with more on the way. FMU tuition covers the tuition costs of semester long study abroad programs. The variety of other programs featuring shorter stays and group travel are also wonderful opportunities for students to attend. Great stories are for it. They always begin here, but it turns out better if a couple of chapters are set in unique destinations. Some of the few places FMU students like to go is to Canada, Ecuador, England, France, Germany, and Ireland. And of course, a law along the side right here is uh, we'll list out based on your major, what courses are set in what, uh, what country and what institution as well. Our residence halls. So Francis Marion University offers three different residential areas, each with its own different style and ambiance for their students. First, we have the freshman residence hall. FMU has six resident hall buildings situated in two complexes. You have Palmetto Hall, Swamp Fox Hall, and Marion State Hall form a courtyard with the Irving Dining Hall facility. Belle Isle, Snow Island, and LNC Watson uh, form a courtyard around the Alston Housing Office Complex. The residence hall provides an excellent living environment for mostly first and second year students. The setting promotes the establishment of new friends, develop community living skills, and provide academic enrichment. Each residence hall suite consists of two bedrooms, so that's two students per room, with an adjoining bath shared by all four residents living in the suite. Uh, 
uh, sorry, I lost my place. Uh, each bedroom is, comes with a extra long single size bed and mattress, wardrobes, study desk and chairs, window treatments, telephone with local and campus technology access, high speed internet connection, which you have two per room, and basic cable television service, one per room. The cost of living in our freshman residence hall is an additional 4,115 per semester. And that includes an all access meal plan with unlimited meal swipes and 25 Patriot bucks on your uh, FMU ID card. Anything extra for the uh, residence hall, such as a mini fridge, a TV or a microwave, you must bring on your own. Next, we have our village apartment suites. The village apartments, the first student housing on campus, were first occupied in 1980. The complex consists of two-story apartment buildings accommodating 386 residents residing in the village apartments provides upperclassmen students a higher level of independence and less oversight than the residence halls. As they successfully progress through their college careers, many students choose to uh, choose campus apartments living. The village apartments have two apartment styles uh, for students to choose from. We have our bedroom or one bedroom apartments that are shared by two students. The residents share a bathroom, kitchen slash living area, and a bathroom. The cost for that uh, for that dorm style is additional 2612 per semester. We also have our four bedroom apartments that are shared by four students. Each has their individual bedroom and shares the kitchen and living room area and bathroom with three other residents in that apartment. The cost of the four bedroom apartment is additional 2,508 per semester. Uh, all village apartments are furnished with extra long single size beds and mattresses, wardrobes, study desks and chairs, a stove, refrigerator, microwave oven, dining room table and chairs, telephone with local and campus access, basic cable television service, and access to the university computer network, window treatment, one cable connector in each village apartment's common area, and one internet connector in each apartment bedrooms. While all full-time FNU students are eligible to live on the residence hall complexes, the village are designed for upperclassmen students. You need additional 24 credit hours are required to live in the village apartments. So if you're taking dual credit courses and you have 24 credits, intently you are allowed to apply for those village apartments. Lastly, we have our Forest Villa Suites. The Forest Villas are a contemporary apartment complex with three three-story buildings to accommodate 421 beds. It's probably made up of four bedroom apartments. The units in the Forest Villa are one third larger than those of university village apartments. Um, the addition to the Forest Villas provides a campus living option to those upperclassmen students who desire higher quality and a modern convenience of apartment and living. The Forest Villa suites have three apartment styles to choose from. Uh, we have our four bedroom, four person style. The residents share a living room and kitchen area space. And they also have two bathrooms in the apartment. So two, stu two students share two, ba or two bathrooms. Um, this style costs an additional 3,238 per semester. And the next style that we have is the two person, two bedroom apartments. The residents uh, share a living room and kitchen space and a one bathroom as well. Those apartments cost an additional 3,238 per semester as well. Um, in which one student lives in his own bedroom and living area. Uh, this style will cost 3,833 per semester. Uh, so the Forest Villas are designed for our graduate and upperclassmen students. Uh, assignments to the Forest Villa are made with priority or order given to graduate students first, then seniors, then juniors, then sophomores. So a little bit about student life on campus. Student life supports the educational mission of the university by providing programs, service, and co-curricular experience that contribute to student development and FMU community. Student life seeks to develop the student's experience by initiating platforms for self-expression and personal growth, thereby enhancing students' potential for success through leadership opportunities, citizenship education, networking, and community development. Students at Francis Marion University are a hardworking bunch. They're in college first and foremost to earn a degree, and many of them, a significantly higher percentage uh, than at most universities, also work before, between, and after classes, both on campus and off. Their student life starts with being a student. 
but they like to have a little fun too. Uh, to that end, FMU provides students with a robust assortment of organizations and activities built around student interests and designed to put the life into student life. FNU has 60 plus clubs and organizations on campus, ranging from academic, leadership, and special interest clubs, honor societies based on your major, intramural sports, and Greek life. The Smith University Center is the hub of all student life at Francis Marion University. The University Center Commons serves as a lounge and recreational area for university community on a daily basis. Throughout the year, numerous special events are held in the Commons and the UC lawn, including comedy shows, concerts, picnics, festivals, displays, and other activities. Besides housing FMU students' life organization and staff offices, uh, there's also a variety of recreational and athletic facilities located in UC, including a 3,000 seat varsity gymnasium with two bra uh, practice basketball courts, an eight lane varsity swimming pool with three diving boards, a sauna, four handball slash racquetball courts, men and women's locker rooms, a canteen slash game area with billards, ping pong equipment, and any type of gaming console, and a fitness room with free weights, exercise machines, and cardiovascular equipment. So a little bit about athletics. Here at FMU, we are a division two in athletics. We currently compete in what's called the Peach Belt, which has a wide uh, range from schools in Georgia, South Carolina, and a little bit in Tennessee. Uh, it ranges from uh, school, oh, I'm sorry. Um, we, in the fall of 2021, we actually will be transferring over to a new conference called Conference Carolinas. In Conference Carolinas, it's mostly North and South Carolina uh, schools, with one school being in Tennessee as well. Uh, schools like Belmont Abbey College in Belmont, North Carolina, Converse College in Spartanburg, South Carolina, Erskine College in Due West, South Carolina, and UNC Pembroke in Pembroke, North Carolina are all part of the conference. Conference Carolina is one of the most competitive conference in all Division II sports from top to bottom. We have a wide range of sports that we compete in at FMU from baseball, softball, men and women's basketball, cheerleading, men and women's soccer, men and women's track, men and women's cross country, men and women's tennis, volleyball, and golf. And we just recently participated in a panel discussion through CACRO uh, about Division II athletics with multiple schools who are also part of Division II within South and North Carolina. So if you have any, uh, if you'd like any more information regarding uh, our athletic department, please feel free to give us a call and we will have that video sent out to any students that's interested in learning more about it. All right. Next, we'll talk about our acceptance requirements and kind of cost expectations. So our acceptance requirements for freshmen coming in is we require a 3.0 GPA with an 860 on the SAT and a 24 on the ACT. Uh, when we get your high school transcripts, we highly encourage you to also have your current class schedule on there as well. So that way we can evaluate what classes you are taking uh, for your senior year. Um, for our high school transcripts, we, we do look at all the courses that you took while in high school. Uh, and there are certain courses that we require in order to be an accepted student. Uh, we require four units of English. So that could be English 1, 2, 3, 4, English 101, and English 102 if you decide to take those as well. Four units of math being Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and any type of advanced mathematics such as Algebra 3, Problem Stats, Pre-Cal, Calculus, um, or Trigonometry. We require three units of laboratory science. Uh, first two, we usually require it to be biology or chemistry. And then for the last one, we kind of require any additional science that you take, such as physics, anatomy, chemistry two, biology two, marine biology. And just to let y'all know, physical science is not considered a laboratory science. Uh, we require two units of foreign language. Uh, so it must be in the same language. So you take French one or two, Spanish one or two, or German one or two, or any other language that you decide to take at your school. We require three units of social studies. One has to be US history, and the other two can be anything from world geography to world history, psychology, sociology, or government and economics. We require one unit of academic electives. We would prefer if you took some type of computer uh, science course, such as keyboarding, uh, data information, or business integration apps. 
uh, or it can be any other additional elective that you took that doesn't meet the requirements already. So if you took all four Englishes and English 101, we can accept that as your active collective. If you took Algebra 1, two, or algebra one and 2, Geometry, and Pre-Calc and Calculus, then we can take that as additional academic elective as well. Um, we also require one unit in Fine Arts and then one unit in uh, Physical Education or ROTC. Uh, just give you a little breakdown of how much everything costs per semester, so your cost expectations. Uh, for in-state students coming in, it's $5,580 per semester. Uh, and then if you include freshman housing in that as well, that's an additional $4,115 per semester, totaling at $9,695 per semester to be a student here at FMU. And we're actually uh, the cheapest four state institute or four year institution in South Carolina. Uh, but if you do need any kind of additional uh, help with financial aid or scholarships, then we can discuss those as well. So just kind of just going over some of the scholarships, I'm just gonna go through and just kind of give you information about them. I'm gonna start with our most prestigious one that we have, which is the Robert E. McNair Scholarship. Uh, it's named after uh, former South Carolina Governor Robert E. McNair, who was an instrumental in founding of Francis Marion University in the late 1960s. McNair Scholars, uh, McNair Scholars possesses a strong interest in public service and pursuing a public service career. The selection process is competitive and finalists for the award represent some of the most accomplished and extraordinary students that South Carolina has to offer. The McNair Scholarship covers a student's full tuition, housing, and meal plan. It offers funding for study abroad experience or funding for study abroad experience as well. McNair Scholars uh, automatically become a part of FMU's honors program. The McNair Scholarship application, including the required essay and two letters of recommendation, needs to be due by December 1st, and you must be already be an accepted student at that point as well. Uh, finalist interviews and awards will be made in January. Candidates for the Robert E. McNair uh, Scholarship at FMU must meet the following criteria. Be a full-time South Carolina resident, uh, be a high school senior, be admitted to FMU prior to December 1st, McNair deadline, maintain a high school uh, cumulative GPA of 3.0 or higher, have an SAT score of 1160 or higher, or a 24 on the SAT. Um, they also must uh, possess a demonstrated interest in public service and deliver a completed McNair application and all additional requirement materials such as essay and let two letters of recommendation to the director of the Robert E. McNair Scholarship, uh, McNair Center by December 1st. Some other scholarships that we have, we have the F, uh, FMU's new Freshman Supplement Scholarship will make it possible for all freshmen who are South Carolina residents and have demonstrated financial need to cover the cost of all tuition and academic fees uh, during their first year at the university. The supplemental scholarship will pay the difference between the student's first year tuition and fees and all grants or scholarships a student may receive, provided the student is eligible receiving a full Pell Grant from the federal government through their FAFSA application. Pell Grant status is determined by the free application. The deadline for the consideration is February 1st and students may have submitted a FAFSA application to, and be an accepted student. Francis Marion University has the First Generation Fund. Uh, it is designed to help students who uh, are the first in their family to attend college. Advancing the cause of first generation students offers the widest path to improving our community and our country. First generation students who desire consideration should complete the Francis Marion University Institutional Scholarship Form and submit it to the Office of Financial Assistance by February 1st. And if you want any more information regarding the First Generation Fund, please visit our website at fmarion, that's, that's F as in Francis, Marion, M-A-R-I-O-N dot E-D-U slash first gen. That's fmarion dot E-D-U slash first gen. We have the Condora Scholarship. Uh, is the Mont FMU's top academic scholarship. It's awarded based upon review of students' academic achievement by a selection committee. The total amount the for the Condor Scholarship is $6,000 per academic year and is renewable for four years. To renew the Condor Scholarship, students must complete at least 30 semester hours each academic year, in addition to maintaining at least a 3.0 cumulative GPA. 
Condor scholars also have additional cultural slash interdisciplinary experience that are required to maintain the scholarship. There is no application for this scholarship. Eligibility for the scholarship is a 3.0 GPA and 1160 on the SAT or 24 on the S or ACT. Francis Mary Education Fellow Scholarship is awarded based upon the recommendation of faculty and student on campus interviews. The total amount for the Education Fellow Scholarship is 5,000 per semester. This scholarship is given to students who are part of the Teacher Cadet Program in South Carolina. However, preferences is given to students who is a part of the Teacher Cadet Program sponsored by FMU. Eligibility for the scholarship is a 3.0 GPA, 1160 on the SAT or 24 on the ACT, and must be a part of the Teacher Cadet Program in South Carolina. All accepted first-time freshmen for the fall semester are considered for merit-based scholarships. Our merit-based scholarships are awarded in three rounds in a varying amount based upon the merit achievement for each student. Uh, to be minimally competitive, it is highly recommended that students have at least a 3.0 cumulative GPA with an 1100 on the SAT or a 24 on the ACT. Students who have scored at least 1160 on the SAT or a 24 on the ACT will be automatically rewarded a minimum of 1000 in the merit-based um, aid. First round acceptance deadline is December 15th. The second round acceptance deadline is February 15th. The third round acceptance deadline is March 15th. And I know a lot of y'all are sitting here wondering about with test scores. I know we know that due to COVID, uh, a lot of students were unable uh, to take the SAT or ACT and are still unable to take the SAT or ACT. Uh, we do not want y'all to worry about this. Uh, and kind of, we don't want you to think this will kind of hinder you from being eligible for any of those scholarships that we offer. Um, so unofficially as of right now, uh, for the McNair scholarship to be considered uh, for this scholarship, you must meet two of the three requirements. So the 3.0 GPA, the 1160 or 24, uh, 1160 on the SAT or 24 on the ACT, or you must be in the top 30% of your graduating class. And that's supposed to be uh, when you submit your application uh, to FMU. When we get your high school transcript, you have to be in the top 30% at that moment. Uh, for any of our other scholarships or our merit-based scholarships, unofficially, uh, you must meet two of the three requirements to be considered for those. The 3.0 GPA, the 1100 on the SAT, the 24 on the ACT, or you must be in the top 40% of your graduating class as well. And if y'all have any more questions about scholarships and want more information, you can always give us a call at um, FMU in the Office of Admissions. And we'll be happy to kind of go over any detail that we can for y'all and help you kind of get through those process of applying and filling out those applications for those certain scholarships. So next we're going to take you through the next step to enrollment that we have. So with our next step to enrollments uh, for the freshman applications, so this is for any students that's interested in applying. Uh, the first step you need to do is you need to complete an undergraduate admissions application using our application center Patriot link at patriotlink.fmarion.edu um, or you can go to our website which is fmarion.edu go to our admissions tab under the admissions tab you can click apply now and then you would need to fill out an undergraduate 2021 application the next step is you need to pay the application fee of $41. As of right now, our application is free until October 10th. So I would highly recommend for y'all to go fill out an application as soon as you can. Um, after that, uh, you can also call the cashier's office if you decide to wait a little longer to make that payment uh, for the application fee. Their number is 843-661-1596. And their hours of operations as of right now are from 8.30 to 5, Monday through Friday. The third step you need to do is you need to submit uh, the most recent official high school transcript electronically to documents at fmarion.edu, or you can also mail them to us uh, to P.O. Box 100547, Florence, South Carolina, 29502 
or on the Patriot link, you can also upload your documents uh, on there as well and we'll receive them automatically with your application if you have them available. Um, when you submit your high school transcripts, please just make sure that your uh, current class schedule is located on there. It makes us a lot easier for us in the admissions office to evaluate your application and go ahead and get a decision out quicker to y'all. So that way you'll know what decision is and if nor you got accepted to FMU. The last step that you need to do, if you have them available, you need to send in your official ACT or SAT test scores. You can use the two codes down, located down at the bottom right here. For the ACT, use the code 3856. And for the SAT, use the code 5442. All right. I just want to introduce y'all to the rest of my team that we have here at Francis Marion. Up at the top, we have Richard Q. He's in, uh, he oversees the Midlands counties in uh, South Carolina. Uh, his number is 843-661-1234, and his email is richard.q at fmarion.edu. We also have Tori Lawhon. She is our upstate and PD admissions counselor. Uh, her phone number is 843 -661 -4639. Or you can email her at victoria.lawhon2 at gmail dot or at fmarion.edu. We also have Karen Spears, who is one of our admissions counselors. She handles out of state students as well as transfer students. Her phone number is 843 661 1255, and her email is kspears at fmarion.edu. We also have Jessica Foxworth, who is our senior admissions counselor. She oversees Florence, Ori, and Georgetown counties. As well, she handles transfer students. Her phone number is 843-661-4692. And her email is jfoxworth at fmarion.edu. And of course, you have me, Parker Stevenson. I oversee the low country area of South Carolina. My phone number is 843 Six six one one two three six. My email is Parker Stevenson at fmarion.edu. And then we have Cody Beard. He is our administrative assistant. If you have any kind of questions or phone calls and you just want to talk to uh, the admissions office in general, you can always give him a call. He'll be able to answer any questions that you have. His phone number is eight four three six six one one two three one or you can send them an email at cody.beard at fmarion.edu. All right, and that concludes our PowerPoint. Let's see. Let me try to share the whole thing. Oh, let's see. It's like I'm having difficulties right now. All right, there we go. I apologize about that, y'all. All right, so now we're going to go over any questions that y'all might have. Hopefully, I'll be able to answer them to the best of my abilities. Um, and like I said, if not, uh, what we can always do is just uh, we'll get that email list of all your names, and we'll be able to get in contact with you. Um, does Francis Marion uh, does Francis Marion the early childhood development major? Yes, we do have early development childhood majors. Uh, that is majority of what our education program is. Um, and then you can always give a call, us a call and talk to our ed, um, education department. We'll be able to talk to you more about it, okay? Um, and I believe that's all the questions. So I just want to say, uh, I was so happy for all y'all to join us. I just want to say thank y'all so much. and. Hope y'all enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much, Parker. Thank you so much, students, for tuning in with us. As you exit the webinar this evening, you will be prompted to complete a quick, short survey. We definitely welcome your feedback on how we can improve these programs for the future. We also encourage you to continue to check out other sessions that will be available for the next several weeks. The recording will be available on the CACRO.org website within a few days. So um, definitely check out some more sessions and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you so much. Good night.
Good job, Parker. Thanks. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and round us out, um, but have a good night and hope to see yeah. you soon. You have a good night. Thanks.